Angin Terzi has announced the 12th and final super match well hopefully for East versus West 5 November 19th and this one is a great great left handed super match Welcome to the video guys like and subscribe to the channel so this match is a result of a practice pull and these two were really close to each other and unlike many others i absolutely love practice pulls and i'm going to give you the reason why because first of all they are good for deciding and finding potential super matches just like this one because these two were close so engi knew that i can set up a match between these two and the other example would be Gabby versus Ryan Bowen if that practice pull was close <laughs> just kidding just kidding so these practice pulls can create rivalries they can create controversies they can create content they can create views they can create matches i think practice pulls are absolutely amazing just one negative thing that the videos are being uploaded and even if you are injured during those practice pulls if you care a lot about your image if you do not want to be seen getting pinned by a inferior opponent inferior in your eyes or in the eyes of many other people then you would have to go all out even if you are injured and if you lose many people are going to believe that you are actually inferior to the guy that most of the audience thought that he is inferior to you so this is only one problem with practice polls if we talk about a balance i am a huge fan 90 10 positive negative so as you have already seen these two were really close well balanced in a hook prudnik had to show his experience and superiority he had to tire his arm first then go for a top roll then transition into a press so good technical pull prudnik there is a reason why he is known as the second john brzing in terms of technicality so while assessing this practice pull there are four things four important things that needs to be considered because we do not want to draw any false conclusions and the first thing the most important thing that we need to consider is how many practice pulls they had before their own practice pull and we do not have the answer to that unfortunately so we are going to leave it that way so not going to draw many conclusions point number 2 that we need to consider is david dadikian had a super match with oleg zok and he pulled for about 11 seconds total in that super match and he was very dominant he won 3-0 against oleg zok prudnik had his last super match about two and a half months ago with tobias sporong and he lost that match 3 pins to 0 so it is not like prudnik's left was completely untrained if he was lifting some general stuff like bicep curls bench press doing some basic stuff in the gym with the left arm then his left arm would have been in a decent shape but of course since he had only right handed match at east versus west i think he must not have trained it to the level which he would train if he actually had a left handed super match so i would say prudnik's shape against tobias sporong where he lost was better than this one and he tried to hook tobias sporong didn't work sporong's riser and his pronation was too much for prudnik he tried to top roll slip against him and man tobias sporong's 150 kg crushing grip strength was way too much to let prudnik slip out of it and he just slammed him to the side So let's talk about their physical stats. At first we have the Ukrainian Evgeny Prudnik, 6 foot 1, 34 years of age, about 110 112 kilos. And David Dadikian, the Armenian, only 24 years old, and he weighs about 110 115 kilos. He was 102 for Oleg Zok because there was a weight cap there, but he is the slightly bigger guy. even though he looks much smaller than prudnik at least to me at least on camera but he weighs slightly more than prudnik so that thing also needs to be considered because both of them were cutting during their practice pull prudnik cut to 107 kilos and dadikian cut to 102 kilos so dadikian is going to gain more weight people were demanding david dadikian versus tobias sporong but this is what we got and i think this can be a much better match because both of them have only one weapon they are going inside a hook maybe prudnik can top roll as well but for sure he's not going to top roll david dadikian that match is going to slam inside a hook and we are going to see a war very difficult to predict but even though david lost the super match i consider him really high 
I consider I rank him really high. Maybe for me he's around that top five in the world, left-handed. And Prudnik maybe not that close, but definitely I would have David as a very slight favorite, maybe 52-48 against Evgeny Prudnik in this match. Thank you for watching. Subscribe Old School Labs if you need supplements, if you need to refill your supplements. Old School Labs is the brand that you should switch to. They're supporting me. They're supporting Armless Link. Thank you very much. Bye bye.